Thank you to Cade Silvermoon for their generous donation on Patreon. Poor like, what is that? Poor play. Poor play. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days despite everyone trying to kill each other. <laughs> Entering the club room, uh, the usual scene greets me. Oh! Oh, oh, boom. Oh, boom. Welcome back, Brad. <laughs> Does this turn you on? <laughs> Shouldn't, because it. it's my side boob. <laughs> uh, hi, Yuri. Hello, boob on a stick. Uh, I'm, not sh- yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. <laughs> but the wind of yesterday's quarrels still hangs the air. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome to the rest of you. Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at the desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. You're mine. (laughs) Yesterday, I uh, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. Uh, I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please, don't think we're usually like this. Uh, not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something went off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less. I already, I had already decided that I already don't think anything of you. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't possibly think <laughs> any less of you. <laughs> uh, and now that you're apologizing, I know you really did. Uh, 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 Brad, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I want you to fuck me, Grant. I'm really glad <laughs> that you're such an understanding person, Grant. And I... I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is just a little bit brighter with you around. And, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Oh, duh, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) No, I haven't. It was also, I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, she better not be dead. I'm guessing you haven't either, Yuri. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. What? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> no, I haven't. Ugh, this isn't like her at all. It is lately. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean to say the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... What the hell are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. (laughs) I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? This is Monica speaking through Natsuki. (laughs) This is what happened is the Matrix. accept your apology anyway if it makes you feel better about yourself it <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yes, <laughs> both. besides it's kind of nice to hear since i was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that <laughs> no not at all you mean you yes. bitch you mean, I mean, yes to both no she was saying you know if it makes you, makes feel, you feel better, better about yourself, yourself. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah i was like yes to both <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. (laughs) Don't have any feelings about you either way. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Not like he turns to me. Ow, I just hit my toe. Oh. Speaking of hating people, (laughs) you're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. What a bitch is... I'm sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. Gee, that sounds like something you'd actually say. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Bitch, we almost sent out a search party. (laughs) Well, Natsuki was. 
I called the police! <laughs> Good old night. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period... To, uh, blah, blah, blah. My last period today was study hall. Haven't we fucked up on that line every time it came up? Yes. <laughs> okay, I was thinking she was going to start talking about her period. period. See, <laughs> that's yeah. what I think. Every I time we come to this line. Yeah, I always think the same thing. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> I bled through my skirt. <laughs> See, that's what I thought she was gonna say. I was like, oh, I gotta prepare for this. Uh, to be honest, I've kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. You would have heard the bell ring at least. Are you deaf? I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. I wasn't aware <laughs> that you played music as well, Monica. Don't give me. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I guess Damn, I what you call for a while, but I'm not really, still not really good at it yet. I want this game to be done. <laughs> Wait, study hall, piano, things ain't fucking linking up. Where was your study hall? Where was this piano? Did you drag a piano into study hall? Maybe she did. She's a pocket piano. She <laughs> plays like just a little tiny. The world's smallest. That piano. must require a lot of dedication. I was thinking a full size piano, like she so, takes it out of her so, pocket like and it's just like yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. Put your skirt Get away, on please. Get on the screen. You're falling off the screen. <laughs> oh, you should play for us sometime. <laughs> That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Plus, I don't play the kisses. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> maybe maybe we can get a little better at it. <laughs> that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Grant. We're listening to piano music right now. Maybe she can post the music for this game. Meta! Meta! <laughs> Monica <laughs> smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't mean to, so I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I just not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, I mean, everything got really fucking weird. But <laughs> that's gonna be a hurt. How big is this closet? It's so big. Closet. It's like a walk-in closet. It's got like a whole fucking grand. Room. Um. Since your compliments put me in a, such a good mood. Oh, God. I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. Oh. I mean, in the club, but... <laughs> I suppose so. I mean, we did our poem for not to keep it with me. Well, yeah, but she gets cleanier. Remember? Okay. It's part of her character, so she's going to be a little more bold. <laughs> I don't think I could say no to you after hey. you gave that book to me. <laughs> Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki is waiting for me. After we finish reading yesterday, she... She's fine! Oh, yep. Here it goes. She's reading over there, see? I'm dead. Don't think about her so much. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> what is... I wonder if, uh... Oh. She's oh, used to being ignored. Damn! Come on, we're going over there. Get over here! Uh, oh! Oh. Okay. What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Oh, there's a new thing in the uh, file. Super fucking red. It, uh, it's a text file that just says I over and over again. So let's read it. That sounds about my thought process. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. it says, I hate this. I can't do anything! Nothing! No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would really, really, it, it would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Oh. That's yeah, that, that's Monica talking to us here. here. Jesus, this is Sorry, fun. Monica, but like, if you wanted us to romance you, why didn't you just put options in the game for us to romance? <laughs> right? 
I mean, I would even take it if it was like, it, you clearly made it with like paper and marker. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> choose me. Hey, do you like my new shirt? Yeah. <laughs> do you like my just Monica shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I did that at a con. They dressed up as Monica and they yeah. had a thing over her. Yes. Which just Monica. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Uh, and the people are trapped there and they turn into killing machines that, with a lust. For blood. Oh, but the must. facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to. Uh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Fixing them to what? But anyway, I'm, I'm really into it. Yeah. The book, I mean. No, not, not the thing, whole thing about the, the limbs. Yeah. You were totally into that. Right? That's kind of. That's kind of dark, isn't it? I wish I was in the closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounded like there was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Rant? I'm a huge because fan. Because I can change. I can change. I can be whatever <laughs> you want me to be. I can be anything. She just comes in with like a Natsuki wig. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a fixture head. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see purple. <laughs> see, I'm Natsuki. I'm Natsuki with boobs. <laughs> Vanilla. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I can make food. <laughs> <laughs> make you some scrambled eggs. She's just eggs. like sprinkling glitter everywhere. <laughs> Cats and puppies and kawaii bleh. and <laughs> abuse and I'll even read a manga. <laughs> no, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her, her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story really rustles my jimmies. <laughs> it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants them to be evil. Evil! All oh! villains are lemons! Yeah. Lemons Every are villain is lemons. There you go, he's got it. I spelled Avel. <laughs> <laughs> But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Jesus. Written checks. Suddenly! I'm I'm not rambling. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I'm when in the I gore things form. Huh? I said, I'm into gore porn. Yeah. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly hot. Oh, check the history! Check the history! What the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> Lady! It's... Oh, 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 it's not even there! I... Damn it! I wanted to see it. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, exclamation point. And please stop me if I'm what talking was that? I'm, sorry. Oh, I'm kicking my I'm shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It that just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> the reading least I can do reading is... Reading is, is fundamental. Yeah. <laughs> reading is fundamental. It's a literature club after all. Through those uh, drag race, after all. That's... Well, that's kind of true. Uh, in fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Uh, yes! Ah! Please let me go to the closet! I just want to go to the closet! <laughs> I mean, you don't Sweet have to, sake. but, I mean, Natsuki's a bitch, so why would you come talk to her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Close what is it? Was barricaded? <laughs> let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved a book that I had put in my bag. I, it's fine that I sit here, right? 
<laughs> There's gotta be a vine where it's, you know, in The Shining with the axe, and then in the crack, it's like Yuri's face. There's well, gotta be. Well, considering <laughs> Vine is no longer around, I'd say no. They're bringing it back! Girl, yeah. Vine is coming back! And bitch. secondly, those come up all the time on YouTube now. Yeah. But I would let, if it's not already created, it needs to be. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Seem a little apprehensive, if I can call it that. That's... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something that I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. Then why did you force me over here? <laughs> I see. <laughs> just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start to start the prologue. Soon to understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. <laughs> it's not a particularly bad thing. Yes, it is. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. <laughs> oh, Jesus <depressing>. Christ! No, <laughs> step. Um, Yuri's in the, in the corner, corner of my eye. eye. <laughs> I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. <laughs> it's over. Looks like she's reading off from my book instead. Do you oh, like oh, it? <laughs> Sorry, I was just I was just bathing in the feeling of your <laughs> ah! You you really apologize a lot, don't you? I'm Canadian. I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean <laughs> uh, here, this should work, right? I slide my desk out until it's up against Yuri. Skr yes. Oh my god damn. Oh. No. Uh, hold my book most between Escape. the two of them. On the keyboard. Oh four, all that four. What? Oh. Uh, all that four. I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. When I, once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead, I use my right hand to pull the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Let's put your arm around my waist. So we're we not getting the second thing for Natsuki, then? I guess not. Huh. Because... That's weird. She got really possessive. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, ah. my boob. I'm holding it. I do the same with my right arm. I'm so close. Oh, God, <laughs> stop. The right side of the book. That way I turn page. Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. I swear to God, if it changes and she's right fucking there. Are you ready? Eh? Huh? to turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used, you're not as used to reading, right? <laughs> well, I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. All of these are sexual innuendos and I am uncomfortable. It's probably the least I can do. Stop. <laughs> Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes reading the page before me, so I turn it off my by my revolution. Uh, we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. Yes? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't relate to that character at all. Especially with the limb tearing. Oh, <sighs> uh, you know what? What? Matt Pat in his game theory video was like, especially Yuri. Especially in relation to the book. Harry. Well, I mean, yeah, because a lot of the things that she's exhibiting is a lot of the same characteristics of the character in the book. So I guess... So yeah. that makes a lot of sense that there might be a tie to the The theory that he's basically alluding to in the video is that the characters were ripped out of the book. Go watch that theory, by the way. If yeah. you haven't, it's good. If you don't like Matt Pat, then uh, I guess that's fair. 
I guess. Definitely not. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant the something else about her. Like the killing. And, uh, <laughs> something else? N- never mind! I love that freak oh, out no. eye she gets. Yeah. We haven't even gotten that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Huh? He's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri <laughs> puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri no, no, no. stands up and practically... God, that's creepy. <laughs> practically rushes out of the classroom. I just need some water. Don't push yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth was that about? Bail Grant? Did something happen just now? Yeah, she dragged me over here, this crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Holds up a sign like, help, I am a hostage. <laughs> Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? That's all right, I can't say I do. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, I nothing! Understand. Like, put your <laughs> dick in her. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, there's nothing alarming. All right, maybe you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poops with each other? Eh? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? No, she might be a while, so I figured we'd just get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off the book, then slip it back into my bag. So, Aaron, were we not supposed to be able to talk to Natsuki in that one? Yeah. Okay. Keep uh, trying for a though. Okay. Natsuki! 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 Hey, talk to us. Well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I'm the best. I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. Yeah. Probably be able to learn something from it. Like how to not be a dick. Okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, I know. (laughs) Oh, I know. Okay, so... This is special code. It might look like gibberish, but it's written in base 64 code, which is a type of language. Okay. All right. What does it translate out to? Oh, infinite person of wisdom. Open your third eye. I can feel the tenderness of her skin through the knife, as if it were an extension of my sense of touch. My body nearly convulses. There's something incredibly faint deep down that screams to resist this uncontrollable pleasure, but I can already tell that I'm being pushed over the edge. I can't, I can't stop myself. Why didn't you go greet with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. Oh, I feel so bad. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Oh, why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off associ- not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Forever. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, she's gonna black out again. You don't hate me, Grant, do you? Do you hate me? 
Do you want to make me go home crying? Her eyes are crying blood. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. That's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! What the fuck? Monica! Yay! What the fuck? Monica! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow! Did not see that coming, actually, at all. <laughs> hey! Let's talk! Monica! Hey, Monica! Fucking oh. hell! Hey, Monica! Jesus. We just Hi, saw Gingrin. some shit! <laughs> Hi, Gang Grant! Hi! <laughs> How's the writing going? Fine! <laughs> We're writing again. I'll take that. <laughs> as long as it's not going bad. Well, that girl just snapped her own fucking neck. <laughs> oh god! And then kept running. Right? <laughs> While <laughs> bleeding from the eyes! Play with You're me. You're applying yourself. Forever and ever. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. No. <sighs> we can count on that. You never know. Want to share your thoughts with what you wrote today? Yeah, here we go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Grant. I was going, ooh, in my head. Yeah. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. What? I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. That's what she says when you do Yuri's. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expe expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Oh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyways. You know what? <sighs> yeah, really likes this kind of writing, right? <sighs> writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Yeah, she changed our fucking poem! Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like that's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally grew up, given up on people. She spends so much time in her head that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why we <laughs> That's why she gets so happy when we treat her with kindness. I don't think she's used to being adults like that. Shade. She must really be starved for social interactions. So don't blame her for coming on a little, a little strongly. A little. Like earlier. I don't think she she I think if she gets too stimulated, she'll end up withdrawing and looking for a little time. Suddenly the door opens! No. Ah! Oh, okay. Yuri. Yuri. My bag! Yuri. 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 I don't want it. Did I miss anything? Yeah, not really. Well, we are starting sharing our poems with each other. <laughs> That's what uh, said. Already? <laughs> said. I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. Oh no. I suppose I should go get him poem now. Monica, run. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? <laughs> I like the way it turned out this time, so I hope you do too. Cacophony! Yeah, it's the same. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um. Delete everybody. Well, never mind. <laughs> There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I don't the want first it. time that she's done this. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. <laughs> That's my advice for today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. The oh, fuck? Okay. Oh, the fuck Ooh, we can skip. skip that. What? Well, what happens when you hit skip? Yeah, I guess we'll just try. I it. guess it just goes to Yuri. Uh, it it's, stuck. Just, it's just now. Yeah. All right. I've been waiting for this. Uh, she really did like a. <laughs> let's see what you've what written up, for bitch? today. Swiggity swooty. 
Gary smiles, takes a deep sniff of my paper for some reason. <laughs> oh, I just like holding it. Oh. Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there's some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Okay, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> that, that came out a little weird, awkward. Uh, well, let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Is it? I think we've already seen this one. Have we? Breathing. I think so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think Holy you guys yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's just talking about gears and clocks and shit. So, yeah, we, we read yeah. this one already. Blip! <laughs> It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My pen? Uh, that's, that is a pen felt of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I am, um, I just really like the way that it writes. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You keep you Great keep the poem yes. though. <laughs> oh lord. I do any. Oh, a new poem. Let's read yeah. it. All right. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of inter indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Ugh. And then skeletons tried to grab it down, and then a small pixie flew down to save the dog. What the fuck what? are you talking about? <laughs> I'm guessing that's uh, an anime reference. No, no. no. Our, the no, last no. campaign we did. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Crocodile, skeleton. Damn it. Shoving people in the ah! Okay, everyone. You shit on the corners. Is well, that my heartbeat? Am I looking at this well, through my heart beating? I played Gears of War. This usually means I'm about to die. So <laughs> man. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? <laughs> we know how we okay, have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can come sit to the front of the room. I'm not dead! <laughs> yeah. I mean, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Oh, do we awful. really have to do something for the festival? It really is kind of like blood is rushing through our ears and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's muffled. Is it like, are we going crazy? It's not yeah. like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's uh, a concern of mine as well. And we're out. Where are we? We just blacked <laughs> out. <laughs> Grant just passed. We're, we're just done. Oh. And Grant died. Hello? Resonic <laughs> killed click it. Click the button. Click the... There's, there's no button. Oh. No, oh, click the screen. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I don't really want... Oh my god, the brightness. Yeah, right. right. Is it brighter than usual? Now? I think so. I think it's like it's like, it's like I don't think it is. It's just we got so used to the red, the yeah. Red. I really I don't really Oh my god. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little, a little more lively since, ever since Grant joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is only our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's I, uh... <laughs> I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. 
Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? My passion is my alone time! To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Grant? Ah. Uh. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Grant to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Ooh, music cut. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Grant joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Grant isn't even passionate about the literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our, our, our opinions for once. I almost said feelings and then I fucked up. <laughs> Monica is clearly taking a damn it. Taken aback by... <laughs> that is words. not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Grant weren't well members too. Um, actually... Right? <laughs> I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, is she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everybody here was the same way I think that blah, blah, blah. Whatever. <laughs> That's how she said. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Yeah, why did you even join this club? It's really titties. <laughs> <laughs> what were you hoping to get out of it? Titties. Well, it's not really something I could be honest about, is it? <laughs> In fact... If I remember, you weren't even given a choice to jo not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What What if starting this club was a mistake? Oh, you've done a nuts key. Oh, what shit. I did. Oh, shit. What, me? Now she's going to go crazy and kill us I all. just spoke <laughs> my mind. <laughs> Is it a crime, to be honest? It is when you're blonde about it. <laughs> it's not about well, being blonde. <laughs> It's about word choice. Choose your words very carefully, bitch. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. I did not hear you say anything to prove me wrong. You do not understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. You consider me a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Argument over. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Grant. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. That's like he starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and Watts walks right out of the classroom. Good thing you're not going to her route, right? <laughs> this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I love atmosphere! <laughs> I love atmosphere! So earlier just said atmosphere really loud. It was funny. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who oh! cares about that obnoxious brass? Oh, Lord. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she Yeah. Oh, oh. 
I should just do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decisions that's right for this club. But what about you, Grant? What kind of, what do you want to get out of this club? He repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think this is about how many members or the quality of each other. What, what, oh, sorry. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's how, that's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. You're a bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, Basic I, bitch! I really, I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special oh, way. She, she, she's dripping. With each, don't stare, it's my time of the month. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, dude. <laughs> With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change, too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. You gotta, you gotta, but right. You got <laughs> stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you can help Monica with the festival, then I am on your side as well. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Get the fuck out of here! Man. <laughs> um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. Aww. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Grant? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Grant before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this, of his time here and all that. It's important to me as the president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. Don't take my man. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Whew. Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? Grant, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time with this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as the president. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, and I really do care about you, you know? I, I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's weird because in all that time that you've been here, we've hardly got to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There is just some things I've been helping to talk to you. Read, read fast. Talk with you about. Speed reader, <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> Things I know only you can understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. You made the no sound so sad. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no.